mamma. Så rätt jag fortsätter att till A-Texas. Eh, jag lovar nästa år så ska du och jag ha en helt fantastisk dag sammen. Uansett, eh gratulerar med dagen igen. Inte ansträng dig för mycket. Eh, klapp av. Och så må du inte glömma att säga hej på This footage was taken from the personal camcorder of Dallas Hale, recorded on April 2, 2002, moments before a tree branch separated from a tree above her. Mrs. Hale sustained injuries including a fractured skull and her death was officially put down to blunt force trauma several days later when a dock walker found her body. After the local police released Mrs. Hale's possessions back to her family, the video was posted on her mother's Facebook where it was quickly posted to online forums and circulated as proof of the existence of a supernatural entity referred to as He who is not there, the morning watcher, I do not want you, or most commonly, the narrow man. For several years, I've been tracing the history of the narrow man for personal research and for lack of better phrasing, I have run out of leads and friends. Excuse my surroundings. I'm hoping this series of documents will inspire some of you to come forward with your own stories and findings. If not, What follows is a series of documents, experiences and works of art ranging in time from Paleolithic cave depictions as far as Bournemouth 2018. The roots of the Neroman can be traced as far back as to the prehistoric paintings of the Lasso cave is in South Western France, though its simple imagery and lack of context make it a highly contested piece of evidence for the he who is not there. The first piece of evidence generally accepted is dated to 11th century England. The Bayard Tapestry is a woven document spun by Queen Matilda to document her husband's conquering of England, a bloody campaign brought with violence and death. The tapestry eventually culminates in the Battle of Hastings, where an estimated 10,000 men lost their lives in one of the most devastating acts of war of the era. The striking figure here is widely accepted as the most early and concrete example of the Narrowman due to the figure's unusual depiction. It is also notable that the dye used to stain the string the figure is embroidered in has been tested and has not been able to be traced back to any organic compound available in the era. The next documented sighting of I do not want you was not for several centuries when the narrow man was spotted by a farmer in the Yellow River region of China in the 14th century, over 300 years past when the Peya tapestry would have been completed. The soldiers to pass through again today. It breaks my heart to see these boys who I've seen run around with their toys come home weary and aged. Their eyes have a darkness to them that no boy of their age should. Among them looms a figure, thin, dark, that I could not rest my eyes on. He was no boy any more than war itself is a boy. This journal fragment was found in a renovated townhouse in the Huanghe region and digitized in early 2011. The singed edges of the fragment suggest a fire, although this is just a theory. The profile fits the narrow man though, a tall, dark creature that follows a tragedy or even causes it, which makes me to believe that this is another appearance of him, especially following soldiers. 
I have a theory that the Narrow Man and the Grim Reaper may have actually been the same figure, as the roles they inhabit in mythology seem to overlap a lot. Both dark figures that follow or deal with death. During the World Wars, many soldiers reported seeing a specter of death that may have actually been the Narrow Man. In fact, ah, here we are. A poem by World War II poet Horst Wagner. Hunched low we sit our graves dug, my long resting places of death still breathing. We clutch our knees in fear we hug, broken bones snatched clean and hurt lungs still heaving. Above us he mocks us, looming spectre of war, his figure as dark as its coldness, tall and thin and vile impure. His touch takes our lives. Piercing our lines like an arrow, in bloodshed he thrives, gruesome, indifferent, and narrow. And this, of course, leads me on to my next point. I'm sorry in advance for anybody who has been personally affected by this. I've left a link in the description below for a charity raising money to the victims of them. He has appeared to me. His radiance was all consuming and he showed me the light. I know now what he demands, and I know now what he requires. The world will be consumed in his blinding desolation. <laughs> that video was from Benny. Was from Benjamin Heap, a self-proclaimed narrow follower, uploaded to an online message board in late October 2018. After posting this video, he went on to kill four people in his home city, Charlottesville, Virginia, and injuring four more. He posted to a lot of message boards that he saw him before his violent spree. After I saw that video, I knew it was going to be bad. He didn't even see him. It was a... It was a joke. It was a prank by some kids who knew he was unstable. They didn't deserve to. Mr. Heap is currently serving a life sentence for multiple murders, although is looking at an early release for good behaviour according to his father. If anyone's interested, I've also linked a petition below to express opposition to this. It seemed like the least I could. The narrow man exists. I know I've seen him. I've researched him. He appears to people before tragedy, or maybe he causes the tragedy, or maybe as a warning, or maybe he's just there at the wrong time and it doesn't mean anything at all. In 2014, my mum passed away. We were walking home and some drunk driver. I was okay. She wasn't. And by the time ambulance got there, before we walked home, mum had taken me out to eat. I was meant to go to uni next week, so we wanted to spend as much time together as possible. Went to our favourite chippy. A 
I could swear I saw I know I saw him I saw it The narrow man or whatever you want to call him. He was just standing there under a street light, staring at us. I just forgot about it. I need to know. Is he the reason why mum? Or was he trying to tell me something? Was he warning me to just get home, don't wait until late, just get into the house safely before it's too late? Or did, did I see him and, and did that make my mum? I need to find him. Please, reach out, talk to me. I'm willing to listen. Not everybody who believes is like Penny. Please, someone reach out. Help me find him.
it's been quite tough ha being at home and parents teaching kids because kids can be quite naughty sometimes. And it's been the worst unpaid job ever. That's the truth. I'm a secondary school teacher. 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 I'm a secondary school te
so when you were teaching online i know you mentioned technical issues that you had are there any like funny stories that you had where i know you sent me that that clip if you could like talk a little bit about that and like what happened yeah there was there was some technical issues there where the younger students were, were, were on the whole did not want to put the cameras on so they didn't want to be seen which was absolutely fine um, a lot didn't want to put their microphones on either so you're then just looking at an icon and talking to yourself um and obviously, I, I sent you that video of me. I mean, I just because I've only been on an iPad, so I do lots of issues with iOS and Google and Google, um, where I was just the sound quality that was bouncing back, the, the reverb kind of bounce sound <laughs> when I was trying to deliver, would then kind of send me messages saying, "Miss, you're really very echoey. You're really echoey. you're in the bathroom, Miss. You know, messages like that. And you're just sitting there on your own with, you know." no technical support whatsoever just guessing um not even able to google it because you've got your ipad going uh, trying to do things on the phone at the same time so what would you say was the number one challenge of teaching in in lockdown you had to kind of pick one one thing i know you mentioned you know like the technical issues and what comes with that but if you had to pick one thing i think um Probably the not not knowing if they're truly accessing the work, do, doing the work, doing okay even. Because um, although I've mentioned lovely communication with a, a, a small handful of students, there's, there's so many that I haven't got a clue how damaged they will now be from this experience or how awful it was for some, which it will be. I go down at seven before the kids are up so I can have an hour alone just with my coffee cup. Before the dining room table transforms into a classroom again, being furloughed and homeschooling kids, it feels like a ball and chain. Are you still on that worksheet? Can't you keep your handwriting neat? What's the learning objective today that we're supposed to meet? Complete the sentences, fill in the gaps is what the teacher says, but what the bloody hell is a modal verb or a flipping expanded noun phrase? What's a camel's hump made of? Is it water or fat? How many brains does an octopus have? Does anyone know that? Number bonds, times tables, division, multiplication. If you don't understand, if you don't do your work, you'll fall behind in your education. Um, I found pressures from the school because even though I understood they were trying to keep everybody busy and keep students learning, which was vital, there was that sense of, you know, submit the work like this or do this really creative project, which is fine, but with no guidance and kids who aren't completely independent, that puts an enormous pressure on me on top of all the other jobs. It felt not frightening, but depressing because it's just no sense of knowing what was going to come next and not feeling like I had any power over that because everybody had their own issues that were all coming at me and you can't escape them if you're not going out. I glance out of the window at the sky, the trees, the grass. The kids should be playing in the garden, not in prison in some virtual class. Google Classroom, Teams and Zoom, the whole world is trapped online. It's three o'clock too early to just crack open a bottle of wine. Would you hurry up with that picture? Why are you being so slow? Weren't you supposed to have that work in at least three hours ago? Mum feels frazzled and starts to resemble an angry dragon-like creature. She reminds herself 
that things could be worse. At least she's not an actual teacher. Up and down the country, all over the UK, the very same scene is playing out and it feels like Groundhog Day. Up and down the country, in homes throughout the nation, we've had just about all we can take of this Covid education. Still facing all the cracks Lost a couple of pieces when I carried, I carried, I carried home I'm afraid of all I am My mind feels like a foreign land Silence ringing inside my head Please carry Up didn't take a lie. I saw the end for it begun. Still, I carried, I carried, I carry on. Hi darling, how are you getting on? Is it good to be home? Yeah, yeah it is, it's just weird. Yeah, it is. I mean, you haven't been home since your parents have passed. Have you heard anything from Kane? Nothing. Well, he does do this to you though, doesn't he? I guess it just goes with his work. Hmm. What? It's nothing. I don't know, it just feels different. I keep having these weird dreams and I think it's just messing with me a bit. What dreams? Thank you. 
Sorry. Just having one of them days. My head's all over the place. When it will be? I mean, you both just lost your parents. I mean, I'm surprised you even got out of bed. Alright. <sighs> yes, thank you. Classic. Look, I need to head off for the day. I'll chat to you in a bit. Okay, well, have a good one. What a fucking day, eh? Yeah. You alright? What do you think? Yeah. Same. I think I'm gonna go away for a while. I have to head off for a bit as well. How long for this time? Days? Weeks? A month? Four months? No clue. When you're done, maybe you can meet me. Go travelling together like we said we would. <laughs> that, mate. Sounds perfect. Millions now infected. The red flu has put the country into chaos. The government under immense pressure to get the situation under control. The Prime Minister has withdrawn forces from the Ukrainian-Russian border, saying the health service, while struggling to cope with the red flu emissions, desperately need the help. The United Nations has condemned this act from the Prime Minister, saying Kingdom has left Ukraine open to invasion. As tensions between Russia and the West continue to rise. The Vatican's nearly formed military branch is also sending troops to help aid Kingdom. Remember, if someone you know could be infected, please re sleeping so good. Where the fuck is he, Phoebe? Still not heard anything. I wouldn't stress. Honestly, with everything going on in the world, he's probably just busy. Busy in his line of work isn't good, Phoebe. Amy, do I need to come up? You're really starting to worry me. Abel! Abel! Right, I'm coming up there. You're really starting to worry me. This Right. What? No, sorry, I just thought I heard something. Honestly, Phoebe, I'm good. I don't think you are, mate. Look, trust me, okay? If I need anything, I'll give you a call, alright? Promise me. Promise. Look, I'll, I'll chat to you later. Alright, well, make sure you do. Bye.
Avoid this? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Good day. Bye bye. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Alright. Yeah. 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 Infestation, oppression, and possession. These are said to be the three stages of the red flu. Infestation is the whispering you don't think is there, the constant state of fear which turns into oppression. The virus starts to get more aggressive, slowly cutting you off from reality, making you more violent until it has you with the last and final stage of possession. Oh, oh fuck this. Let me make this very clear. We are at war. The enemy could be anyone. Your husband, your wife, your best friend, or even your child. If you know anyone affected or showing signs, please report them to your local.
that is my name, no? Kane is dead. Do I look dead to you? Fuck you. No, fuck! <laughs> Go and say anything, or just stand there. Why are you doing this? You know why I came. I suppose I should thank you, really. If it wasn't for you, none of this would be possible. How does it feel starting this war? Fuck you. I really do wish people would stop saying that to me. Just leave. No! No! You don't get to give me orders here. Now sit don't. down, Kane. Okay. Good. Good. You should feel privileged, you know. I like to keep you. I can just snap you away. You wouldn't want that now, would you? We both know that's not true. I never said yes. You can't take me over completely. Hence why I'm still here. You think I need your permission? You think you can control me. I am you, Kane. This is all just a game to me. I will rip everything from you until it's just me. And you. Unless. Unless what? I lied. I do need you to say yes. Accept me and all of this will stop. I will walk out of here and leave him Alone. So much more is at stake, Kane. What, what, Kane? Hmm? You already got us the book. The red flu is slowly infesting the world. More and more of us take control. Nothing, nothing you can do can stop this. The war has already begun. I'll tell you what. I'll let you say goodbye. Say goodbye to your brother, and then you can rest. You are tired, aren't you, Kane? Tired of all this? I will walk out of here and will leave him alone. You have my word. He'll be safe, won't you? I promise. I'll say it. Say yes. Fine. Yes. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's me. I'm me. Stay away. Abel, please. I don't have long. You are not my fucking brother. Listen to me, Abel. You're safe now. He said it's okay. You're okay. You said what? You shut up. Shut up. Just get on the ground. Okay. okay. Look. You're doing what you say. Just please. Listen to me. I swear. It's me. Do you remember when we were kids? We used to get these really bad nightmares about a witch outside the window. I used to get up out of bed and I'd shout, Get out of here, witch! Mum and Dad would come in and start moaning at me for being loud, but I wouldn't care. Because I wanted to protect you. I wanted to protect my brother. I wish we could go back home. Away from all this. Chaos and demons and away from all this shit. Why did you leave me? You weren't here. Mum and Dad died and you left me. I had no one came. All I wanted was my brother back, but you fucking died. I wish I could change things, I really did. I miss you all so much. I know.
Dion. <laughs>